this is the first Gudetama toy I got. It's from a gachapon. Which means it came out of like a weird ball thing. <laughs> I get out of a machine. And this one is Gudetama and some other guy and they're in like a half-boiled egg and they're cut into two pieces. He always looks a little bit distressed. <laughs> He's a very cute character. This is another Gudetama. His legs are like pushing through the bottom, which is really cute. I got multiple of these from the Gachapon machine. So one of these is like attached to my shoelaces. Whenever I walk around, Gudetama like bounces around with me. It's very cute. Um, when I was getting my my nails done, when the nail lady bowed to me at the end, she noticed the, the Gudetama on my shoelaces and started excitedly talking about Gudetama, but my Japanese is not good enough to keep up with her fast-paced, excited voice. <laughs> oh, this is a very cute gachapon. It's like a little dessert. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that the orange had a face, but okay. What's going on here is that there's two little, like, creamy guys, I guess, who are like, their little hands are, are poop, pooping out and they got little smiles. And then there's a little orange on the top. And the orange is like smiling really happily. And they're just really adorable, these guys. There's some glitter on it for some reason. I wasn't even wearing glitter, but this country is so happy that it's just covered in glitter, apparently. Oh, those of you familiar with Studio Ghibli films, will recognize this cat. What happens in Gajapon is you end up getting a lot of repeats. So. And another half boiled Gudetama set as well. I was trying really hard to get the UFO Gudetama, which I did eventually get. This is a super adorable stuffed animal deer <laughs> that I got in Nara also. Um, I really love the deer there. They were so cute. And I love that they they like bow to you and then they like ask for a little cracker and it's just really cute. Oh, this is pretty cool. I got this one in a book off which is a place where they sell used books. Um, and this one is a Pikachu car because they also sell used toys. And so its ear is a little bit broken off, but I was so entranced by the idea of like, like an adorable Pikachu car that I had to get it anyway. Um, it's really cute. Oh! This is one of my favorites from this trip. Let me open it. It's like Christmas. So this is one of my favorites from this trip. It's a little Nausicaa bug. And what happens is, if you pull it back, it goes forward. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, it wiggles too, it's so well constructed. It's really complex. Another Gudetama. As you can tell by now, I have a, a bit of a Gudetama obsession. And it helps that he's also very popular in Japan right now. Um, but this little guy is for like a shelf. He can like sit at the edge. Oh, and it has his little butt. It's very cute. This is a Yoshi car, another toy I got from Book Off. It almost looks like it was just like really badly painted on to some other car. Um, but that kind of makes me love it even more just because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> this little Yoshi car. 
This one, when I got it, I was so excited because it's a little Ponyo hand towel. It just makes perfect sense for her to be a little hand towel. This gachapon is from Neko Atsume. I'm sure some of you are at least tangentially aware of Neko Atsume, which is um, this adorable iPhone game where you keep track of cats um, and you put food out and then the neighborhood cats come visit you and you get to collect them. This one, um, he looks like he's a little cat scholar. He's got his little pen and paper and his cute little hat. Maybe he just sits in this bowl. No one knows. The makers of Neko Atsume, but I don't know. Another Gudetama Gachapon. This one, he's just hanging out on top of a hamburger. It's pretty simple conceptually, but it really works. This is a little Ponyo toy I got. Um, it's very cute. It's a little small one just for I'm gonna probably just have like a cute shelf of stuffed animals from this trip when I go home. Um, I think it, it goes well with my, my Gudetama and my other little Studio Ghibli collection. Oh, these are good ones. These are cute little tags I got. Um, so I got a little, a lot of like really cute books of porn, <laughs> um, lots of naked ladies, um, and so I'm going to go through them um, with my photographer, and we're just going to mark off different pages that we like um, so that we can make pictures like the ones that I think are really hot. Oh, this is a cute one. His head is off right now. Um, but this is Kaoru from Evangelion, as I'm sure some of you guys out there are familiar uh, with this little guy. He basically seduces Shinji on the show. Um, <laughs> but I won't spoil too much of it for you, just that it's really cute. And he's holding a little cat. Oh, this is a Boo Amiibo I got. I'm not sure how many of you play Wii games. It's not only an adorable little statue for my Nintendo shelf, but he's also just a really cute character in the games to play as. This is a cute little Bulbasaur um, gachapon. Oh, it's got a little vine sticking out. You have to put them together after you get them out of the machine. Then this little bulb goes right on top, just like that. This is a cute little wallet I got. It matches my little stuffed animal, Gigi from Kiki. <laughs> or Gigi, Kiki's cat. Um, and as you can see, it has a little baguette for its little zipper pull. I put all my cute wins, all my favorite um, gachapon wins. Um, so this is a little Eevee. Um, Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon because of all of the evolution possibilities. This is my Gudetama UFO that I was trying for. This is um, a really cute uh, Sailor Moon win that I had. I got the one I wanted on the very first try. Um, it's just like this really cute heart um, with a dingly bell. I haven't watched the season that actually has this in it yet, but you can just tell that it's Sailor Moon from the, the aesthetic. And this is Pikachu, and here he's all curled up, being cute, just hanging out. So these are all my favorites. <laughs> I love them a lot. 